just work out exactly the position you sort of roughly want to put the pick guard. Choice is up, up to you. As close to the sound hole as you want, or as far away as you want. But I like to put it just covering the rosette with a little bit of wood showing around the edge. So you take the pick guard that comes with every McElroy guitar that's sent out. You need something, some sort of sharp implement just to take the backing paper off the end and peel back about an inch from the end. Now I'm going to use this little spatula which has a little bit of flexibility in it. Plastic but still flexible and a cloth. That's all I need. Make sure the area is clean, no little chips or grease or anything like that underneath. Make sure you keep the, the this bit that you've taken the backing off, off the guitar. Don't press it down in other words. Set the pick guard in the position, making sure that it's not sitting on top of the bridge or going to hit the fingerboard. And once you're happy with the position as it is, then just press down the sticky bit. That's it fi fixed. So you won't be able to really move it after that. And then take your spatula. I wrap it in a little bit, just one layer of cloth. And then just push that along and pull the backing as you go. A little bit of blue just to make sure there's no, no dust underneath. Simple as that. That's it done. The only thing that's left is that there may be a few little bubbles underneath. But actually the, the pick guard material has uh, sort of a, we call it orange pee. The plastic isn't perfectly flat. So when you put it on the guitar, it looks like there's lots of bubbles underneath. But it's just the texture of the plastic. And these bubbles will absolutely disappear within a few days week at the most and that's it that's it done I'm using the cloth because the spatula sometimes scratches the pit guards I mean, you're going to get scratched anyway so if you don't mind if you don't mind that you can just use the spatula on its own and it'll actually get out more of the bubbles but that's it done just up to the edges make sure the edges are done if you don't have a spatula you can just use the cloth and pull the backing out as you move the cloth along like that and then just out to the edge. That's it done. So you can probably just make out that there are some sort of what look like bubbles underneath but they are air bubbles I suppose but they will dissipate as I say over the course of a few days. Uh, you can get out as many as, you, as you, you can but don't worry if they're still there they should, they should disappear. And that's it.